Last time, I tried to convince you that 1 plus 1 really can equal 3. I tried to gently persuade you with reasoned argument. This time, I'm going to try to persuade you with cold, hard figures. Hi, I'm Gary. Welcome to Development That Pays. I want you to imagine that you're going into business to build digital products, perhaps a course of some kind. You set to work and build it in a week and launch it priced $100. By the end of its first week of sales, 10 people have bought it. You made $1,000. The end. Oh, you think that's not the end? I think you're right. If you made 10 sales in the first week, it stands to reason that you can make 10 sales in the second week. In a perfect world, you can make 10 sales every week. We'll talk about imperfect worlds in a moment. Feeling inspired by your sales, you develop and launch a second product. And you do it in record time, just one week. And wouldn't you know it, in its first week, you make 10 sales. 10 at $100, that's $1,000 for you. Time for a spot of bookkeeping. In week one, you have a nice round income, zero. In week two, you have an income of $1,000. And in week three, you have an income of 1000 plus 1000 equals $2,000, a total of $3,000. Two weeks work, $3,000 in sales. One plus one equals three. What if you'd done things differently? What if you'd launched both products at the same time? Week one, zero income. Week two, zero income again. Week three, $1,000 plus $1,000, $2,000 income. Same time period, same work done, different income. $3,000 became $2,000. Depending on which way you calculate it, that's a 50% increase or a 30% reduction. Those are big numbers. Time, I think, to mix in some real worldness. There's more work in launching one product followed by launching a second product than there would be in launching two products at the same time. So let's factor that in. Let's say it takes 50% longer to do that. Now, it shouldn't take anything like 50% longer, but let's just go with it and see where it takes us. This changes the maths a lot. In this three-week period, the second product doesn't even make it out the door. And product A has only had a week and a half of sales, which is likely to mean 15 products sold, $1,500. We're kind of in one plus one equals one and a half territory. Hmm, perhaps if we look at a longer time scale. Let's say that you get excited about the economies of scale and decide to build and launch 10 courses all at the same time. 10 weeks of work, 10 sales each in their first week. 10 times 10 times 100, $10,000. Very nice indeed. What if you'd gone the other way, launching them one at a time? Well, in the same period, because you're taking longer to produce each course, you only produce seven courses. However, the value of all seven of those courses is stacking. Turns out that your total income for these 11 weeks is $35,000. Of course, these 10 courses now start generating $10,000 every week. And around week 24, the lines cross. One more spoonful of reality. Which of these 10 courses is best? How do you know? Perhaps a better question would be, when do you know? You know when you're in a position to get feedback from your customers. That's when you know whether your course is good or bad. So is it reasonable to assume that the feedback you receive from customers for one course helps to improve the other courses that you're making? Could this translate into, oh, I don't know, more sales? Do that and the maths changes again. The lines never cross. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, please click to like. Share it far and wide, and remember to click the logo right here for a brand new episode every Wednesday. I'll see you again next week. Cheers for now.